All right. True heartfeltization. What I've learned in this series is that in this channel, I've actually, like, I've actually been being open, like, yes, there may be this, excuse me, yes, there may be this ideal, just farted, um, like, this utmost or high openness that I wish I could be, not just in talking, but in rap, in, in, in freestyling, there's like a block too, um, Writing is actually my strongest, um, my strongest something like strongest communication or maybe my, maybe my strongest openness, but, um, but maybe it was during that recalibrating video or that Points where, like, I knew, like, what I needed to do to, to, like, get, like, I knew what I needed to do as far as, like, pushing for more openness or to get to more openness, like, but then it was like I was blocked. It was, it's, and it seemed like God blocked me. Which again, to someone else's, to someone else, they might like, like I've said, it might be like, what do you mean, God? But like, if you want to say something, say it or something like that. But that's what that seemed like to me. But I've noticed, like in this Ramadan, that it just seems like in the in the dark road videos, not the one from yesterday. That one, I mean, there is a maybe a good point, but it didn't, it didn't seem like just, um, like, I don't, like, revelational, or just, like, like, the con, like, the concept may have been okay, or good, like, it was a good concept, or whatever, but it wasn't, like, just spiritually charged, or just, like, revelational, or whatever, like, or just, like, like, something special about it, in the way that, like, some of the other Dark Road videos were, um, but so some of the other dark road videos, um, maybe the fist videos, I don't think, I don't necessarily think any of the GRJ videos have been like, just like some spiritual or like, um, revelation or like God's doing something or like what not has happened with the GRJ videos but like there's points in like because I remember in this series in true heartfeltization early on at some point I said I will show you God and if in this Ramadan that I feel like in the week before from like Easter up until um and actually the that that thing that I equate that I equated to like time standing still is like how I'm kind of describing it or time freezing like that stopped I feel like like it started on Easter and I wonder if it stopped like like Ramadan or the day before Ramadan because that had like it happened for like about a week I don't remember exactly what day Easter was, but, like, I wonder if that's about until the start of Ramadan. I don't, it might, it might be, I guess I don't know exactly, but, but so I remember there's a point early on in the series that I was like, I will show you God. So if there's, if in this Ramadan and the week before, it's like this, it's like potent 
then let me jump into this series. But at this series, it's a challenge because I'm trying to honor different things I've said. There's the first in the beginning of this series where I didn't want to be like, it's not that I have to say everything that pops up in my mind. But, you know, I can just, but it's to try to, to just kind of to be open and whatnot. Like it's, it's supposed to be a high openness or whatever, I guess. Like it's this, this series, True Heartfeltization is an openness thing at a higher level. But at the same time, I didn't want to like, because in knowing myself, I didn't want to have it become a weird thing where I feel like, Oh, if I think something, I have to say it. But then, going forth in the series, there's this, like, there's this openness, this wave of just, like, there's just kind of like a special wave that was written and lost. And I guess I'm trying to recapture that wave. Maybe I shouldn't even try to recapture it. And I'm, and I'm saying stuff that I've said before. Probably in the series, maybe, or I mean, I would guess in the series. Maybe I should have just stopped. I experienced high openness. Maybe I should have just called it good. <laughs> maybe I should just should I just delete because I don't even know what number. I'm at for this right now for this series <laughs> but maybe I should just delete all the videos down to but no there's been some good reflections unless I should like change it like go find like but then I'd have to remember where exactly that wave of like just that I was writing and that high openness that was found was lost. And I, I mean, I don't, I could maybe try to figure that out. I don't know. Excuse me. Farted again. And if God blocked me in trying to be open on stuff, then I mean I don't I don't just because I experience that doesn't mean that I know like the fullness of stuff like it doesn't maybe it doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean I'm supposed to not push for openness on on uh, the topic of child attraction or consideration of childhood attraction or realms of that stuff but then I made another channel trailer and then it felt kind of right to like bring that stuff up so maybe everything finds its time but I just want to make sure I'm being like like honestly open or truly Cause like I've brought up, cause that's the that's the hard thing to talk about or to uh, to delve into, and I overdo it. But at the same time, I've been like, in all the times that I've brought up that topic in um, in twenty twenty insights a little bit in band from Furco. There's, there is, like, there's realizations that happen in that that's, um, that's useful. But this year, there's been things, like, a couple of things that are like, wait, this actually, like, this actually, uh, there's actually more, like, because before it was just like, oh, like, um, like, yada, yada, yada. But in reality, 
essentially in reality, everything's like things are more or less fine. But this year, like, like there's a child that, um, or I mean, a teenager, like, so like, for like mid teens or quote teens that like, I would that I started like feeling like stuff for, or I started feeling like a, like an attraction type thing for. And that, like, and then, like, with a, and then there is another, there is a, and then there is, like, a young kid that, like, in changing his, uh, in changing his pants and underwear or whatnot, or maybe diaper, maybe it was, I remember if it was diaper or underwear, it might have been underwear, but, like, there's a desire to, like, to, like, touch his penis, like, there is like an attraction there. And so this this is actual like while it's true that like I like I look that at least I feel like it's true unless I'm just lying to myself. Like I that like I care for kids or I love kids, so like even if there was like something like the big thing is that I love and care about it. Like, even that teen girl, like, I really, like, love her, her, like, sister, like, and when you really care about someone, I mean, I would think maybe there are people in the world that, like, really care about people and still hurt them, but, like, you, I mean, if you really care about someone, like, you would... Like, even if there's, like, some weird thing that happened, like, even if I, off of, like, attraction, even if there came a point of me, like, touching breasts or, like, touching, like, a penis or play or, like, doing something like that, like, there's not, one, it shouldn't go much of anywhere, I would think, and two, there should not be a continuation of, so, like, there may be a desire and attraction, but these are still, like, it's still me, and these are still beings that I care about. And even if I didn't care about, they're still human beings that don't deserve to be, like, so desire, attraction, or whatever is, and also there's a truth to be understood about that. Like, something like that, and there's different desires in this world that people could feel, and they could be scared to, like, say it in the open like I'm saying now but yet it could be something good morning that other people are feeling too because like even that that girl like she had an uncle that apparently messaged her when he was drunk like I want to put my like dick inside you or something and then and then she had another friend uh someone else on Facebook that like I don't know if she said like her the woman's husband was away or something and want her and wanted to either hook up or like or something there's some situation so but in in that particular situation I don't think that person that person may not have known that said girl was like 14 she may have looked older than um than she actually was but there's all sorts of desires and attractions that people may be feeling. I do feel like I like I'm over I hate the I hate the phrase overthinking when people say overthinking like this, but in reality for me like there is with this there is like an overfear overthinking in me repeatedly coming to this topic the way that I do. But with just certain stuff like this year, there's actual like, it's like, hold, there's actually potential for, I mean, I, but I've seen some of this before. I remember like last year um, with that one family that like in the trailer or whatever, that like when I walked by the kid that like 
there was again there there is some kind of and that wasn't even a changing pants or type of situation that like there is some kind of desire to or feeling of either wanting to touch the penis or like or something of that realm and i think like there's something these feelings or something there's like a deeper truth to them like changing the one kid's underwear or diaper this year or whatever it might be that there's something about the because like i love kids maybe there's something of about the like at least i think i love kids unless i'm just creating didn't like denial stuff for myself um but there's there's something about like the innocence that a child has there may be something that and maybe there's something about like what the genital area like carries or like something about that nature or like an energy of that from like either a spiritual sense or like some kind of sense that like draws that attraction so like even though on a surface level you see that attraction and just and because of like what people do with that area or what you hear about people doing like with kids with that area it's like if you hear that someone has like attraction or or whatnot that would be like concerning that's like uh. but in reality if the truth of that like desire attraction was like studied or understood from like a psychological and or spiritual and or biological level there might be something not as um maniacal there there might be something that's like there might be something that could be understood there but with with the girl though it was i think it was because like she would like her, she would always walk by in like a bra- brazier like by where i was sitting and that would happen like repeatedly so it was like repeated exposure and what's interesting about that is that like there's that thing of like oh it doesn't matter what people wear but like that's definitely off of like what was worn like that's where that like attraction or whatever came from is by repeatedly like being exposed to that um and that's just a point towards like in our culture or whatever there's all these phrases or things all these defenses that people want to say but are they actually hitting the truth because that's a specific example from personal experience that leans towards like it does matter what a person wears granted a person but then there's the question of like well shouldn't a person be able to wear what they want like that also comes into the equation but to say that it doesn't affect things what people wear it might actually come and be a factor to some degree but the idea of like a person should be able to free should be able to be free to wear what they want to wear um a person that ends up doing like bad acts or evil acts or troublesome acts to someone that's more so who that person is all these things are factors but sometimes we take to like in this example to take out the factor of like it doesn't matter what they wear that that is a factor or it might be a factor but then we take it out we just cultures like kind of create the reality they want or push towards a certain reality and i feel like that's the job of a culture um but that doesn't mean that it's actually reality unless they achieve what they're pushing towards Um, and then there's another point where earlier this like with that with the kid earlier this year not the girl not the teen girl but the kid where I was thinking and, th- and this is why this was hard to like get this is why this was very difficult to be open on some of this stuff because some of this stuff like just thoughts that ended up crossing my head which a thought crossing my head doesn't mean like it could sound a certain way but that's not the fullness of 
who I am or whatever, but I tend to judge myself or hold, kind of hold myself accountable to even, like, thinking something, like, something just coming across my head, um, and maybe, and in some cases, it doesn't, it might not even deserve that, because I remember, like, some years back, there was a friend's daughter that, like, I saw her picture, and I thought, um, the word sexy came into my mind in relation to that child, and, like, I felt like, oh, do I have to, like, tell the mom, do it, like, and it might be that my mind just, like, equi- like, it just, it, like, maybe it's synonymous with it. whatever the reason, like, on surface level, it's like, oh, my, like, that word could equate, like, you could be like, oh, whatever, but, like, on a mind level, or why that word would have came up, it doesn't have to be sinister, <laughs> why that would, word would come up, but for me, like, I judged myself, or, like, had some concern off of that, and I'm like, oh, should I tell the mother, or, like, and that specific mother is someone who is hard to, me and that, um, because that's the, that's the, the girl that I refer to as the legend of the, the legend of the girl with the rainbow tattoo, that's, uh, that is who would be the mother in question, and she, and we have such difficulty, um, and communicate, like, or maybe I should say she is not very much of a communication person, she's, I mean, but, um, but back to this year, like, with some of the stuff that just, like, either crossed my mind or whatnot that was, that was at such a, that was at a level that was, like, um, so, the kid that, like, I, that I changed his underwear and whatnot, or changed his diaper, and, like, had this attraction to, like, touch his penis or something like that, okay, it's so, so there's two things, the one is that, like, I, like, imagined, or, like, I thought, like, my mind goes to different places, so that's, I mean, that could be a factor, that, or maybe that shouldn't be a factor, maybe I should just say what I what I'm gonna say, but, like, so I thought of, like, like, playing with the penis, or I, or I thought, okay, no, I, or I thought that, like, technically, like, even if, even if the child, like, that was aversive to the child, like, me, like, playing with the penis or something, that, that, um, didn't, that, that didn't, uh, that that didn't, almost like, almost like if, um, that you could, like, kind of, like, you could, like, push past that, and the child, and the child could be okay with it or something, like, kind of like how, and, but there is actually a truth that is as clear as, like, whatever as this is becoming, but there is actually a truth that is, that is in kind of what I'm saying or what I'm, or what I'm equating, so, like, there is actually a truth to, like, for example, with, like, vegetables, a child, there's certain things that, like, may be aversive to a child at first, or aversive to anyone, for that matter, that if you, like, push through it or whatever, that can become, like, um, like, can become, that they can get past, like, either, it could even become positive in reality, but, like, like, just because something is aversive at first, one, like, you might know something that's, like, better for the child, which in this case, that's not, I mean, that's not, gonna, that's not, but, like, for example, maybe vegetables, even if a child was, uh, was that was aversive to the child, it's good for the child. Um, this play with people's example, that's not, I mean, it, that's not quite that. I don't really see it how, because even if it was pleasurable or something, he, the child wouldn't be acting aversively initially, um, that's almost, that's almost like, like, if you were to rape someone, and then, like, oh, they might learn to like it, I wonder if people think that, I wonder if there are people that rape, that rape people and start to think, or in trying to, like, logic them, or kind of create logic for themselves while doing it, like, oh, they'll, they'll like it eventually, like, I wonder if that's what some people think when raping people. But, um, 
But so that was one thought, is that like when, um, that if like, if playing with the penis or something that like, even if it was aversive at first, that like, if like you kept going, that like, um, that it would be, that like it could be okay, or the child could, or that it could, yeah, like just like essentially just because it's aversive at first doesn't mean you have to stop, kind of thing. Um, and so that's one thing, and then the second thing is that like. I thought, at one point I thought, because I'm changing how I go about honesty, normally I'm like paranoid honest, like if I say, like if something isn't said right, I bring up the conversation later with someone and correct it, and this year I started trying to not be paranoid honest, but like kind of flow with stuff kind of honest, so like if I say something and I end up being off with something, like not that I don't have to bring it up and correct it kind of thing. And because of this, like, changing in how I approach honesty, um, off of that, like, it was, like, if I did end up touching that child's penis, like, I could, like, to just not bring it up to the mother. Um, Because how do you even... Because it's not like you can ask the mother, like, hey, like, I feel, like, I feel, like, touching, like his penis is that okay like and but like that like after um like to just not bring it up or something so because of the honesty switch or how i go about honesty there is that kind of thought and that's that's uh incongruent with how i am or like what like i don't like I mean, there's difficult stuff to talk about. Like, there's one thing unrelated to all this stuff, child stuff that I'm talking about now that, like, I've, um, that, like, I feel that, like, kind of, that I feel in reality I, I shouldn't feel responsibility for, I don't think. But, like, there's something that, like, I, and again, un, this is a different situation unrelated to child stuff, but there's something that like it would be hard for me to be open about but like I almost feel like I feel like I feel responsible for some like kind of even though in reality I don't it's not really the case but like um so it can it can be hard it can be hard to be like open about certain things but still I'm someone that I mean generally tries to be like that's not something like if there's a situation where I end up touching a child's penis like that's not something but especially to continue it, like, and that's not what I end up thinking about in this thought remembrance that I'm bringing up, like, it's not to, like, do it and then keep doing it and not say anything, because no, like, that is very, like, anyway, and then um, another, I think this is the last example of, like, so I actually was able to say almost all of them, I guess now. But the I think the last thing is that in reading the Satanic Bible, there's a point where Anton was talking about um was talking about um like stuff in relation to children. And I found myself getting excited, like and feeling like he was gonna say like stuff towards like it being okay to whatever with children or something, something in that direction. Um, and the fact that like, granted, I do feel like there's like a psychological reason or there's more to why, like there's other aspects, but like, but still there is that excitement or like thinking it was going to be that. And like that excitement of that. Um, so these are all things like just some of the stuff that I've touched on in this video and I didn't feel blocked this time. God didn't block me this time. But when I tried to like, but this was some of the kinds of stuff this year that like is like was anyway, but I think that's pretty much all the stuff. But at the end of the day, it like if you care about 
a child or someone you're like like that girl i love the like i mean they're transgender so like it's is her sister brother or something but like those are my like like this ramadan like i'm i'm not um talking to people and and which is hard because because actually they just lost their grandmother and their mom just lost kind of a mom figure and the mom messaged me that and I haven't responded to that because this Ramadan like it being a between me and God thing is like that is just serious to me so like I haven't responded to that I haven't responded to um someone else that I'd asked something to before um even the the girl the girl with the legend of the girl with the rainbow tattoo like we had an off point and then she wanted to talk and she said she didn't and she said she she wasn't going to argue um <laughs> so like she said she wanted to be real about something and but then she clarified that she she did she didn't want to argue though so but like and i haven't responded but i did respond to when she when she like the first little thing that she said she said like i appreciate you and that like touched my heart and then i was like i love you um but really it's all about flow it's about just what feels right last ramadan with the legend of the girl with the rainbow tattoo um which is what i refer to her as on this channel um like it was her daughter's birthday and I don't know if it was that I wasn't going to, like, get the daughter a gift or something. I wasn't going to, like, even... The, or, or, no, I probably... I wouldn't have said, like, even happy birthday or something. Like, I'm just cut off. But it, things ended up flowing that, like, I got... Ended up getting stuff from Walgreens. And I think I thought I was getting it for me. But then I ended up thinking of the child and flow with that. And then I ended up giving it to the mother to give to the child. So so that's a that's a difficult aspect of this Ramadan is like especially that with that funeral and funerals usually happen so fast so that means i won't be able to go to the funeral unless god wills it so or flo 